you know, what's it going to take to get three points on Saturday? Yeah, I think um, Miami's a, a, a big opponent. They've got a ton of talent. It's, a, it's kind of a new team in, in some ways to us and that we haven't played them. Uh, but a lot of familiar faces, guys that uh, that we've played on other teams. Uh, a couple guys that Bob has coached, Cristiano was here before, so they've got a lot of firepower. It's going to take it's going to take a good performance. It's going it's to take uh, just I think our focus this week is continuing to try to get better. We've got uh, we've got you know still a, a ways to go. It's still early in the season, but we need to get better. We know that. So that's that's what we're going to focus. Um. Miami's got the name, guys of Cheetah and Speedy. Uh, those names kind of speak for itself. They're a very fast team, a lot of speed on that side of the foot field. How do you counter that? Yeah, you know, I think obviously there's uh, there's an element of speed where there are foot races at times. But I mean, I, I think for us, it's about getting guys in the right starting spots, and, and then um, you know our defenders have a head start uh, because they're 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 anticipating. Them good starting positions and then the second piece of that is just making sure that there's cover and that's that's always a big focus for us we never want uh, we never want to leave guys 1v1 uh, we always want to have cover in those positions we played Cristiano in Ottawa uh, a couple seasons back and you know they didn't just have him they had a couple other uh, you know very dynamic attacking pieces and I think we did a pretty good job in that game there uh, I believe we won that game 4-0 with a shutout in Ottawa uh, and that was just a collective effort on the back on the, the behalf of our back line uh, what do you, you know, what are you working on in practice, or what do you guys need to do to be more dynamic in the final third? Yeah, I think if I think about our last three games in particular, uh, they've posed some pretty different challenges. So the the last game um, against Austin, we had a lot of the ball. They got a goal very very early, and they didn't need to really come out of their shell. And so um, you know. It, today and, and kind of some conversations over the last few days have been about really bringing the game at them and making sure that we're working to get behind. Um, against Loudoun it was a pretty different challenge where uh, we did have the lead uh, but then it's also a team that uh, you know they were coming after us and so then it was about about trying to maintain possession more. Obviously it's a very a very different game than Austin where mm -hmm. it, it was less about needing possession. We had all the possession that we needed. Um, it was about you know really kind of being on the front foot and, and forcing the issue. Um. Jordan's, you know, uh, set to reach 100 appearances in the USL. Uh, what can talk on? You've seen a large chunk of them here at Pittsburgh. Talk about, you know, Jordan as a player and, you know, uh, his development and what he's kind of meant for Pittsburgh. Yeah, I mean, so I would have coached against Jordan first, uh, so I had some some familiarity with him, and then, uh, you know, some of my. I remember just Mark Belisic even talking because uh, he came over from Rochester, and then just some of our conversations about him being excited to bring Jordan in. But uh, you know, I still didn't know him a ton. I think he's been just a really big um, piece of our success the last three and a half seasons, three plus seasons. Um, uh, just a consistent factor for us. Uh, I think a really intelligent soccer brain, um, and uh, yeah, he's he's a guy that I think is always good in the locker room. Good at kind of. Uh, just in terms of setting the setting the mood uh, on the team. So yeah, he's been a big piece of, of what we've done here the last few years. What impact that has on the team to have guys who are so established and well versed within the professional realm? Yeah, I think it's it's uh, it's important. It's good to, it's good to have veteran players. I think it's very good to have guys like Kenny, guys like Jordan, who are very familiar with Bob's system, particularly and, and kind of just Bob's way of doing things. And so um, you know, I think it's good for them to be able to have a word with some players and just. Uh, Maybe it's a, a difficult moment for them, or maybe they're not playing great, and Bob is on them a little bit. And guys like Jordan can say, "Hey, you know, it's all right. Work through it. You'll be fine." And, uh, and so I think that's good. I think it's got good for guys to have um, experience in the league, but more specifically, to have experience with the coach. Awesome stuff. Thanks, Dan. Thank you. Yep. Thanks. Great stuff. Thank you.